Um, welcome back, YouTube. Um, I currently have this article from CNN recently that it updates, um, I guess, the shootings from Kentucky out of Kroger. Um, recently, the title of the article, Suspect in the Kentucky Kroger shooting was not charged with a hate crime, and here's why. Um, I'm going to actually play the video, parts of the video right now. Joining me now, Billy Williams, a church administrator for the First Baptist Church in Jefferson Town, where the suspects uh, was apparently the suspect's initial target. So, so Mr. Williams, uh, welcome to you, sir. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us. So, it is my understanding that it's your job at the church, sit at your desk, and look at the surveillance videos from the camera outside those church doors. And, and had you been, I know you were in the church, had you actually been at your desk, watching those monitors, seeing this guy trying to trying to get in, what would you have done? Uh, what I've done hundreds of times before, I, when I see someone approaching the church on the monitors, I typically get up from my desk and I walk to the door to greet them and ask them, is there any way that I can help them? So it's something that I do pretty regularly and would have done the same thing if I'd have seen uh, the situation on past Wednesday. And so you've had an entire week to think about this had you been sitting at your desk do you okay so pretty much um that's probably how much i'm going to show you guys but in so many words before this um this guy attacked the people at kroger he tried to go to a um, church and tried to do um a, a mass killing there but luckily no one opened the doors for him or allowed him to even come in so he decided to go to kroger and just take all, all his anger and stuff on the people there. So I'm going to read some of the article right now. The suspect in a daily shooting at Kentucky grocery store was indicted on five counts Wednesday, including murder and attempted murder, according to an indictment. Um, Gregory Bush, a 51-year-old white man, is accused of fatally shooting two African-Americans inside the Kroger grocery store in Jefferson Town and in the parking lot outside. CNN has reached out to a public defender for Bush and is waiting to hear back. Authorities say the shootings appear to be racially motivated. But prosecutor Tom Wine said that because Kentucky's hate crime statute does not include homicides, um, so because the hate crime doesn't include homicides, that makes it right for him to just kill people or attempt to kill African Americans. Bush was not charged with a hate crime in the deaths. I mean, how does that make sense? That doesn't seem that's not fair. A hate crime designation only occurs when the judge makes such a determination at sentencing. Well, we can all see that scene that could have happened. I mean, it's kind of a biased system anyway, but I'll continue reading. If the judge finds a hate crime designation is appropriate, it doesn't add any additional time. So even if they do find like hate crime, that was probably due. Well, even if they did find that there was hate crime that motivated him, his actions, it still wouldn't have added time to his sentencing anyway. Or even would have done anything to where it would have made him go to jail or prison. So there's more to the article. Bush could potentially face federal hate crime charges. Federal investigators are looking into potential civil rights violations, including hate crimes, says Russell M. Coleman, the U.S. attorney for the Western District of Kentucky. Hate crimes are considered more difficult to charge. How is it difficult to to charge someone for a hate crime. How could that be hard? Um, a prosecute and other criminal charges largely because they require law enforcement to prove a specific motivation of bias. But it's not really bias. I mean, he targeted two African American. He didn't target anyone else. So, I mean, that to me should be all the evidence to put him away. Give him time. Um, Bush faces two counts of murder for the shooting deaths of Maurice. So they're actually giving the names of the victims he killed for the shootings deaths of Maurice Stollard, 69 and Vicki Jones, 67, according to the indictment. Police say Bush went into Kroger after he tried to after he tried and failed to enter First Baptist Church. That's the church that that man in the video 
was um saying he watched the cameras for a predominantly black church nearby. So, I mean, there's more evidence right there that proves that it's racially motivated. First Baptist Church Administrator Billy Williams usually monitors the building security cameras and lets people in, but he wasn't at his desk on Wednesday when cameras showed the suspect circling the building or stand. Oh, so he he wasn't even there. Well, luckily he didn't let anybody in. Luckily he wasn't there and allowed the man to come in because it would have been all bad. I say the couch seats would have been way more and it would have been a lot worse. Um. So he had been there to greet the suspect. Williams does not think he would be alive today. Well, obviously not. And he believes his church and its victims were targeted because of the color of their skin. That's the common focal point. Race, skin tone. Uh, I don't believe the individual came by our church to do us anything but harm, he told CNN. So, yeah, Bush is also charged with one count of attempted murder stemming from what authorities describe as an exchange of gunfire with an armed civilian. The indictment um, identifies the armed civilian as Dominic Rosar. Bush is charged with two counts of want wanton endangerment for firing shots into the directions of two or more people, Kier Rosier and an unidentified juvenile. Jefferson Town Mayor Bill Daruf said on Monday that the shooting is being investigated as a hate crime. I guess these are the two people right here that were murdered or, I guess, injured or hurt. Um, based on the circumstances, including the race of the victims and the defendant. So it doesn't even matter, even if they do have evidence that proves that he was racially motivated to just kill these people. Um they won't charge any more time on it, but let it be let it be a black person that does that. Um that goes into a school or goes into a church or goes into any place where a lot of people are gathered gathered together. They give him the highest potential penalty, which is probably life or the death penalty. And that's not fair. Um Bush remains jailed on a $5 million bond. His next court appearance is Friday, he said. Well, I mean, who knows how that was going to happen and what happens, what's going to happen in the next weeks. But all I can say is this. Everybody, just be safe. Watch your backs. Stay woke. <laughs> Stay conscious. And if, and if you guys got a feeling something doesn't seem right, Always trust your gut. Trust your gut feelings. Um, say this will be it for this video. Say have a good day. Take care.